Okay, so now our script has finished running and we've downloaded all of the price history for the past year for every company and the S&P 500. And we have this history directory that has a whole bunch of CSV files that have this price history data. We also have from our previous video, the ability to detect a bullish engulfing pattern on Papa John stock. So now all we gotta do is generalize this and open every single one of those files and detect the bullish engulfing candlestick patterns uh, that are present in the price history. And then we just spit out a list of ticker symbols that matched our criteria. And we have this nice uh, technical analysis uh, stock screener. So uh, let's get going with that. Let's, let's write a general pattern detection uh, script here. So I'll make a new script here and I'm gonna put it in the base directory and we'll call it uh, spypattern.py. And so this is a brand new script and it's gonna use some of the same code as uh, the pizza pattern Python script. So I'll just copy this in and delete some of it. Um, so we do still need is bearish candlestick and is bullish, bullish engulfing. Um, and then I'll go ahead and delete some of this code and we'll just rewrite it. Uh, is bullish engulfing, is bearish candlestick. Um, and while we're in here, let's go ahead and write our code for detecting a bearish uh, bearish engulfing uh, pattern. Uh, so that's just gonna be the opposite of this is bullish engulfing uh, Python uh, code. So I'll do, um, I'll write an is uh, bullish candlestick. So this will just look at a single candlestick and see if it's a bullish candle. And this will just return if the a candle's close is greater than it's open. So if a stock close is higher than it's open, then we know it was a bullish candlestick. And then we can just copy this bullish engulfing function and kind of flip it around, or we can combine the two into a single function. I'm just gonna have two similar functions functions, and call it is bearish engulfing. We still need the candles, the current day, and the previous uh, day. And so the conditions will be if it's a, the previous day is a bullish candlestick. Um, and then we'll also need to check if the current day's open. Open is greater than the previous day's close. So the stock um, opens higher. And then we also need to check the uh, current day's close and make sure that it closes lower than the previous day's open. So that means that there's a bearish candle that for the current day that pre, uh, that completely engulfs the body of the previous day's candle that was a bullish candlestick. And so that's our function for detecting bearish engulfing. Uh, so now let's go ahead and open our SP500 companies list. So we can open this list, go through each ticker, and then open the corresponding CSV file. So let's just do SP500, let's create a handle to that file. So we'll open SP500 companies.csv and then we'll create our reader. So we'll do SP500 companies equals CSV reader SP500 file. And then we should just be able to iterate over um, this list, SP500 companies. And let's just print that out to see what it looks like make sure we're on the right track. So we'll run uh, spypattern.py and you see we have this nice list. And so we could use this first item in the list to uh, generate the file pattern to open the appropriate CSV file. So I'll do a ticker comma company name equals company and that'll unpack this and ticker will go, ticker will be assigned on each iteration uh, to the current ticker. And then we'll get our history file and that's gonna be open and it's gonna be history slash whatever the symbol is dot CSV. So we'll do dot format and we'll pass in the ticker. And so we'll have our history file and then we'll have it opened at that point. And then we can create a CSV dictionary reader again for our history file. And then we'll get the candles as a list. So we'll cast this to a list and we should have um, a list of all of the candles in each file as we're going through for each ticker. And so um, we have all of the candlesticks for a given year, but let's say we just wanna get the last two of them. So like the most recent date. So if I open, for instance, Apple here, we just want these last two. 
since this is a list, we can use Python's negative indexing to go from the negative second item till the end of the list. And so we'll just write it like this. We'll do candles equals candles. And I'll do negative two till the end. So this will be the second to last candle. And then this will extract the rest of the list. So it'll just be two candlesticks, the most two recent ones. And then so if that number is greater than one, so we just want to check real quick to make sure we have two candlesticks to compare. We'll say if is bullish engulfing, okay, candles one. So we're going to pass the candles, and then the index one is going to be the, lat, the last candle. And so that'll compare it to index zero, which is the previous candle. And then we'll just print out what happened. Uh, so we'll say if it is bullish and candle, we'll print is bullish engulfing. Okay. And then we'll do a dot format and pass it the ticker and then the date of the candle. So that should be good, and we should be able to run that spy pattern. And let's see what it does. Okay, so it's running through the list, and you see it's printing out some of the bullish engulfing uh, candles. So we see uh, UAA, that's Under Armour, so it detected it there. Um, I'm going to delete one of these print files, uh, these print companies, just to clean up some of the noise. And you see it prints out all our bullish engulfing patterns. And so let's just check on some of these. So LEN is Lenar. If I type that into stock charts, we should be able to visually test whether our program is working. So Lenar, let's look at the end. You see this big bullish candle, bearish candle. So that's a bullish engulfing candle. That's correct. Um, let's check uh, ORLY, ORLY, bullish engulfing candle there. Um, let's check uh, DHI. Couple more of these just to verify. That looks like a bullish engulfing candle. And let's see, FLT. Okay, and that's a big old bullish engulfing candle there. And so, one thing I'm going to point out here there is one bug, and I found it on XLNX. And so, when I did this earlier, you see that's not a bullish engulfing candle at the end there. So, what went wrong? You see on the price action, we have 199. So uh, there's an error occurring here because uh, the CSV file is getting parsed as a string. So one uh, in the less than greater than when you're comparing one to nine and this three digit number is off. So we need to go ahead and cast all of these numbers here. So uh, let's cast these to float. And if we do that, then we'll avoid any of the uh, numerical errors that can occur. So I'll do float, float, close all of our parentheses here on our cast. Okay, and then I will do it on the bullish engulfing. So we'll do floats, four floats here. And when this is done, you should see it filters out X, L, and X and keeps our valid, our valid uh, items. So we'll do that, and you see it only shows UAA. It stops there. It doesn't show uh, X, L, and X anymore. And then you can check Under Armour stock here and see that this has a bullish engulfing pattern as well. So our program is working correctly. Yeah, so that's it. So you can see we were able to download historical data for all the companies in the S&P 500 and detect for January 3rd, 2020, all of our bullish engulfing candles and do that programmatically with Python, which saves us a lot of time. We don't have to inspect all those stock charts uh, individually to determine uh, where the bullish engulfing candles are. And in future videos, we can add more and more patterns to this, and we can have this really nice uh, stock screener that uh, detects patterns in all of our historical data and base, use that as a basis for our stock ideas. And also, uh, in some future videos, I'll try to build a real-time uh, stock trading bot um, that uses web sockets or streaming data uh, to receive uh, new bars or new candlesticks and makes trading decisions in real time based on that data. So stay tuned for future videos and thanks for watching.